Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we put this little site together with the Divi theme, we're selling a few products on here. Somebody asked us if I go to the cart page here. The question was, can we change the color of the coupon code area and the quantity amount? And simple answer is yeah, sure you can. And I'll show you how it's pretty easy. We've got to do a bit of coding for this today, but don't that, let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it. Okay, well I'm using Google Chrome here because of the great inspector tools. If I right click and hit inspect on the coupon code area there. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if your browser doesn't, Google Chrome is a free download. Okay, and let's have a look. Let's bring our coupon down here so we can see we're affecting the right area. Great, and that's got an idea of coupon code. And let's, for instance, turn the background black. Let's say, um, zero 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 is the color for black and that's not done it so let's try and force it and as you can see that's turned that background color the color we want it there okay that was pretty easy but to make it permanent we need to write it into our theme customizer so let's go to our dashboard and we'll go to our appearance and then customize Once loaded, let's go down to our additional CSS here. And we may as well go to our cart page to view it as well. Let's go back and go get the code that we need. Now, if we look over here, that coupon area right there has got an ID of coupon code. So if I double left click on that and copy it, and um, it's an ID. So if we go back to our customizer, all IDs have to have a hashtag in front of them then the ID name which was coupon code then below we can put the code that we actually wrote which is right here open and close some curly brackets and inside the curly brackets is where we want to put our code let's roll down so we can actually see that and as you can see it's turned it black but we need to publish that to make it permanent Now we can probably do the rest from here, seeing as we got the page up. So I'm going to right click and inspect one of the quantity areas here. And it's brought up all kind of stuff here. And I see there's already a background color there. Let's go up so we can actually see it. Yeah, if I take that away, it disappears, you see. So let's do this. Let's try writing in just here. Again, we'll, we'll give it a, a black background. And again, we'll have to force it because we're overriding some styles there. Let's just uncheck that. And as you can see, that turns that black now. Now, if you wanted to change the actual writing style as well, you could do that or the writing color with just color. They've got FFF there. Let's say color. Just for fun, let's make it red. And again, we'll have to make it important. If you're copying my code today obviously you'll probably want to change that red to a different color and uh, if we uncheck that that has changed our colors for our quantities there and we need all these classes probably don't need all of them we'll certainly have that highlighted one so I'm going to take the highlighted one and everything else and the code that we wrote there control C to copy I'm going to drop it down and put it in there. I need to put a closing curly bracket on there. That's why it's flowing, throwing an error up. Okay. 
Let's get that out of the way. Let's publish our changes now. And we'll go over to our cart page. And let's refresh. Go back up so we can see. And as you can as you can see, and my coupon wheel popped in there. As you can see, it's changed the background color permanently. I'm going to get rid of that line of uh, color red important because it looks kind of silly. But it just demonstrates you can do pretty much what you wish. And to change any other area, just do exactly the same thing. Click on it. Inspect it. Find out what the class name is or the ID in some cases. There's an ID, coupon code for our and once you get locate it, write your code here to change it. And you can do anything you want there. Let's update this page. Those should actually turn white now or turn back to their original color. There we go, that's more like it. And for instance, if you wanted to change the actual subtotal price. Or even the total price. Let's change the total price and inspect that one. And this has got a class of WooCommerce price amount. Let's get it so we can see it again. And we can go in there, we can change the font size. Let's make it bigger, let's make it sort of 20 pics or something. As you can see, that's made it a lot bigger. And you can change the color. That's made it green. So like I say, anything, you can inspect it, change the actual CSS here in your inspector, get the class name. Remember, classes always have to have a period or a dot in front of them. IDs, if it's an ID, always have to have a hashtag in front of them. So I'm not going to save that, but that's just another example. So I hope that's answered your question today. That's how you change the coupon code area background and also the quantities. So I hope you found that useful today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.